listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Social Misconduct. I am your host, Mick, and I'm here with my co-host, Crazy B. Wald, who is laughing right now. I don't know what him and Ron are I'm going to need Carlina do- not to fuck my studio up right now. <laughs> And we have the most beautiful, gorgeous, talented Carlina Bridge <laughs> on my side who like broke the fucking microphone and knocking shit over right before we start. The answers are clumsy. What can I say? Oh my God. Like right before. She's like, oh shit, I broke the mic. I don't know. And we're like, ah, okay. Banging the table. I'm just a mess right now. I swear I haven't been drinking. <laughs> You're hungry. I'm hungry. That's that's What's what it new? is. That's what it is. <laughs> well, if you're not familiar with Carlina Bridge, I don't know how you can't be. But anyway, if you know me, you know Carlina Bridge. But um, dancer, that's what you're known for yeah. is dancing with um, people like Justin Bieber, Usher, Chris Brown. Prince. I mean, the <laughs> list just goes on and on and on. So on that on was just to name on. a few. But um, now you've transitioned more into acting. Yeah. And you're in um, all type of shit commercials. You're in a, what, a new Old Navy commercial. Yeah. So tell us about that. Uh, the new Old Navy commercial is called Built for Spring. It's uh, showcasing their new spring line. So it's pretty rad. You can catch me dancing in the, the first chunk of it and then about three quarters of the way through. Doing some cool moves. Yeah, and then, it's really uh, athletic. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's all about the athleticism. You know, dancers are athletes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's real cool. And then I also have a um, Best Buy commercial coming out. Right. Uh, should be out She's within She's just everywhere. Yeah, playing a makeup artist in it. So <laughs> You get discounts from Best Buy? <laughs> <laughs> well, how did I know that was coming? You say right. Best Buy, girl. That's his favorite place on I earth. Mean, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean. Right? Yeah, it's like right. a man. Like, like haven. Yeah. Best Buy. That's man like, Haven. I love yeah, that term. Haven. That is his <laughs> spot. I just so. go just to play. Like, just to play with, like, all everything in there. I go sit on the couches <laughs> and watch all the really expensive TVs. Of course you do. <laughs> I, try out the, I try out the washing machine. Yes. I play the video I'm game demos shit. and stuff. Yeah, They're like sir, sir, it's where it's clothing closing. We need we need you to get yeah, out. So I'd be like, no, no, <laughs> time no. to go home. I now. paid for this. Oh my god! <sighs> and you just performed with Bieber, right? You all yeah. were reunited on stage after like a year. So mm-hmm. how was that? <laughs> it was crazy. Um, you know, his fans are. The and most loyal yes, fans. they really are. <laughs> uh, Bieber fans, if you're listening, you are great. <laughs> yep, believers go hard. They uh, do. <laughs> we do. It was it was a really great show. Uh, we had about like fifty thousand people in the audience. Okay. Um, well then. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my boy Balash. Uh, him and his wife Tashi were in the audience and totally surprised me. That was real cool. Nice. Uh, to find friends in a crowd of people like that is pretty intense. Yeah. Um, yeah. What it was, was it show? was awesome. It was Wango Tango. It was a, a radio show. Uh, Justin and Kanye West were the headliners. So we did. Um, I performed in four songs and Justin did six songs. So it was almost like a mini concert. Yeah. It's cool. a lot. Okay. Yeah. It was real rad. So uh, we had a good time. Got to watch Kanye, which was awesome. That was yeah. like my third time seeing him live. And yeah, I had a blast. It's always good nice. to be back on stage. And you've been in a few music videos, a few new music videos too. Yeah, not too new, but I mean they they're recently released. So what what are those? Tell everybody. Um, I actually have one coming out. I think it should be out within. It a should few be out soon. Weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, Britney Spears and Iggy Azalea, Pretty Girls, um, but. I'm actually, believe it or not, not dancing in it. I You're am like driving a car. And <laughs> yeah. Oh. So <laughs> like. I play Britney's best friend. I'm an 80s Valley girl. So it's super rad. I get to drive a, I think it's a Camaro down uh, Ventura Boulevard. And the picture's whole... crazy. We, yeah. I think that we posted yeah. it. No, I posted it on my um, Instagram and you posted it. Yeah. Right. But the paparazzi got to it. Yeah, like, TMZ next day. <laughs> I mean, it was like all in. <laughs> all like on blogs and everything like crazy and people were like tweeting her like carlene is that you and we couldn't say anything yeah so. <laughs> i was like Hilarious. maybe i'm like mm, i don't know yeah, could no. be <laughs> how do you answer something like that you, if you, someone you, asks you, you a question can't just don't, just don't. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't <laughs> teddy didn't see it yeah I, i'm 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 prepping Ooh. him to be a celebrity uh, and in the spotlight that so. shit ain't never gonna work 
you know, you know when it, it. I can't wait to see. Like you're like a PR nightmare waiting to happen. Oh my god, I've already been a nightmare. Yes, yes. I can't wait. <laughs> He's a nightmare for I'm me enjoy every it. day. Like. <laughs> I'm going to support you and enjoy. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You are? Oh, yeah? What were you doing to me today? What were you texting me? Tell everybody. I was talking a Morris Day voice to her all day. Dude. Like, anything from a Morris Day song. This is what he was texting me all fucking day. And I'm like, well, you keep please myself company. Stop. It was fun for me. Was I was like, because I'm going to Chicago next week. And so he's like, so are you going to pack your uh, fishnets, black pantyhose? <laughs> really? Are you really? Are you really? Texting the whole time song lyrics the from Morris Day though, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I can't stop dancing. I'm like dancing. I can't even listen to the song without. I'm like, okay. I love Day. What, what the shit, fuck man? is wrong with you today? <laughs> I love it. You're just full of energy. He's crazy, absolutely wow, crazy. Babe. And this is your second time on our show. Well, the first time at LA Talk Radio, but the mm -hmm. first time that was backwards. First time at LA Talk <laughs> Radio, but the second time on our show, you were back when we were just audio at um, Accelerated. Yeah. So this is fun to have her on video. I know your fans are tuned in. <laughs> her I fans, love being on camera. <laughs> her fans are like so great, and they love her and just like follow everything. So I know that they're watching right now. I need those fans. <laughs> she does. She loves you all. Yes. She really does. <laughs> Would you say you, you need, those? I need those? Fans. <laughs> He's just under. <laughs> He's over there whispering. I need those fans. Need those fans. Subliminal messages to her fans. <laughs> I need you guys too. Oh <laughs> my god! It's like getting into free shit. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Oh, and we didn't even mention our event. We did. Um, we went to the grand opening of an Indian restaurant, and I know you love oh, Indian food and culture and everything. She loves all of that. So we went to a grand opening in Beverly Hills. Uh, the restaurant is called Spice Affair, and when, that was last week. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. It was an open bar, you know. That's my yes. top thing. Mm -hmm. um, shut up. <laughs> Wine, 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 Wait, as soon wine. as we walk in, I'm like, so, um, where's the bar? Like, you already know. I need some wine before we can go any further. <laughs> so once I got that, I was good. And people were, like, lining up, waiting, like, where the kitchen was, like, the entrance to the kitchen. People were lining up, waiting on, like, the waiters to come out with the trays. And it was grabbing food. I'm like, fuck, really? Wow. Like, seriously? You saw middle-aged so like socialites place. going at it. Yeah, so they were just like, it was like past. You know, it was just like a tasting for the menu and cool. because it was a new restaurant. So it was good as hell, though. The yeah. middle-aged socialites was going at it, too. They was getting yeah. like... Elbowing people for fucking samosas. The food was good like, to hell. Though. Those samosas were samosas shit. Samosas bomb. It was so pea, I get it. But pea green peas and potato samosas. Mm. Shit was so good. No, oh my god. I just want the vindaloo. That's all I want. Oh, I made vindaloo, vindaloo last night. Mm. Uh, That's my favorite. I don't know what that is. I know. So I was good. like, I don't know. What that is. Indian yeah, it's curry. super spicy. Oh, okay. It's so oh. Good. See, and I'm not really a curry person, so I didn't even think that I would like anything. I'm not really big on sauces and all that. I love spicy food though but mm. everything we had was good I don't think there was one thing that we had that I didn't like I gotta that go. shot was kind of weird though that it was like a bloody mary a spicy bloody mary shot I don't like bloody mary it was kind of weird was good, though yeah I, I took both of them I gave them mine I was like mm, I can't do this one. but both of them so shout out to spice affair thank you for having us that was really good I'll go back there for dinner like Take full me. meal because it just wasn't enough. So we should all go. <laughs> yes. We should all go for yes. dinner at Spice Affair. There's a place I found in South Pasadena that's really good, too. Mm. If you guys are ever around there. Well, mm. I live over there, so yeah, I'm there. Go. Okay. Yeah. Let's mm. try it out. Um, anything else before we start with the fuckery news? That's what I call it. Apparently, <laughs> I got voted best dressed person in Spice Affair by somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. You better. A yes. blog, like a fashion. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> you see me, right? A fashion exactly. blog, like, loved his look and his hat. And he was like, he had layers. He looked good. You see and me, so, right? You know how I get down on a regular day, right? They, I'm like, what is she over here for? <laughs> Can we take your picture? Uh, where's my publicist? <laughs> <laughs> Makia, help. Oh, my God. So, yeah, that was funny. They were cool, though. They were super they cool. They were cool. They were really cool. Oh, Ron, what is the iPad? And he names the um, iPad every week. Oh. It's his friend. Last week he wasn't really we feeling were, her, mm, but no. what's the name? Shaboomtha. 
Shaboom Tha. Shaboom Tha. I cannot. S H A. B O O N T H A. I love the way he just spelled like just. Shaboom Tha. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Shabunta. All right. That's All a real right. person's name, though, by the way. Oh. I, I came across it oh. on but some why? paperwork. That gives me anxiety. That's tragic. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't. All right. There's so like myself. 70 people with that name out there that are really sad right now. Sorry, you know, girl. I mean, was nobody else in the like, delivery room? Be mad at your room? mama. Like, like, <laughs> exactly. Shabunta. Like, no, don't no, do that. No, that's Everybody's not a like, good idea. Yes, idea. yes. I love it. <laughs> love it. Yeah. No. So her nickname would be like Shaboom? Booney. Booney. Bunta. Bunta. Boom, boom. Like, no. Or just bone. Just, bone. yeah, just it. Bone. I cannot with that name. Uh. <laughs> I should have just made him sit in a corner today. Like, I can't even take <laughs> the craziness today. <laughs> okay, so a uh, lady in San Antonio. <laughs> Mind you, I eat granola bars every fucking day. That's I just like ate a, one before a, I came a, here. You know, like yep. I keep them in my purse. It's like that's my thing. So this lady in San Antonio found um, a bag of cocaine in her granola bar. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, it's like you know, a special little surprise, and it was sealed. You know, it's a box of granola bars, sealed granola bar. She opened it up, and you know, out came a little <laughs> packet, little baggie with a white substance in it and she didn't know what it was and so um called the well no she called the company that wow. made it was like what nature's own or no not nature's own nature yeah. valley what nature valley uh-huh. yeah, those, those are the ones that i oh. eat yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. nature no valley so she called um like headquarters whoever owns nature valley and they're like girl Cause you need to call the cops, like. We, <laughs> like <laughs> but if it was, if it was in, if it was in the thing, package. It was in the package. Yeah. It probably happened at the factory. They're gonna that, trace that bag. Nature Valley is like they want no part. They're like it ain't happened here. <laughs> but like, it was in the package. Homie, it had to happen yeah, there. Exactly. It's sealed. What Nature Valley is gonna do under wraps is they're gonna they're gonna go back to the factory where this was packaged. They're gonna fire whoever was on that Basically. line. Basically, chick, you're a hater. You just got a gift. Even if she didn't snip the it's, shit, she could have sold it's it. It's free money. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> but now this dude loses his job over a mistake. So, yeah, she called the cops. A mistake. And it's just Coke. Oh, General Mills owned <sighs> um, Nature Valley. So, yeah, she called General Mills and was like, hey, so, yeah, about That's that cocaine insane. in my granola bar. And they made a statement like, uh, call the cops. That shit didn't happen here. Come like, on, it wasn't a no. needle. They're like, we're confident that this did not happen in our facility. Where else would it have it happened? Happen in that's facility. crazy, though. Wait, so, yeah, did the she cops. eat the granola bar? Because that's what I want to know. That is a oh, question. I think answers. when she right. opened it, it fell. So, what happened to the bag? The cops got it. And mm-hmm. what about the granola bar? I mean, it's still a, <laughs> oh, still a no, 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 no. They took the the whole box into evidence. Is it like uh, they took that the bar, all of that stuff? I guess to test all of them. Come on, yeah, I'd be pissed money. because now I'm right. hungry. Right. So yeah, exactly. it just says that after she opened it, the bag fell from the wrapper. So she never even ate it. But she's like, well, what if like you know my grandkid? This is an older lady. What if my grandkids or my kids, you know? got it and thought it was like sugar you know it's like little mm-hmm. kids they don't know mm-hmm. and they that would be fucked up so yeah <laughs> you imagine little kids on bouncing cocaine? off the wall no i don't want to imagine My little kids God. on cocaine she has 11 grandchildren so she, and three that live with, with her kids. also one of them would have got a whole yeah shit. you so, would never know what was wrong with them like what is wrong right with you? like what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> i cannot that yeah that's scary <laughs> Very scary. So, yeah, luckily it was her, not one of the kids. Okay, so this next one, B. <laughs> so wrong. I feel so bad for even laughing at this shit, this man. Fun. Well, the lady was laughing, so it's okay. <laughs> a Price is Right contestant in a wheelchair wins a treadmill. <laughs> Let that shit sink in for a minute. She has no feet. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? No, she said it. Yes, this is not me making jokes. I swear. She tweet like she, she has a sense of humor. <laughs> luckily, oh no, she doesn't have feet, dude. She oh said my it. Gosh. <laughs> this is her tweet. When you win a treadmill on national TV, but you have no feet. <laughs> Her tweet, Danielle Perez. So she was like laughing at the shit, like, really? Mm. She 
got a sauna too. Yeah. Yay. But right. The, the How the you gonna climb in? This trip. Oh, oh, Carlina. I mean, How you gonna climb in? <laughs> I can't. What was that? She How said, you gonna How you gonna climb, climb in? <laughs> but maybe it was like one of the saunas, like the roll. You could just roll the whole mm. chair in. Yeah, maybe it had a slide. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Brian's face. <laughs> a slide. Oh, oh my God. She got an in ground jacuzzi <laughs> tub. Oh. I cannot. That reminds but me. But her face, though. Look at her face. She's like, well, this is awkward. Oh. I can't fucking walk. So. That, re- that reminds me of an old episode of Mari Povich with a kid that got his hands bitten off by dogs and he gave him a puppy. Are I- you serious? <laughs> Kevin, Ke- ask Kevin. Oh. Kevin, you know Kevin. Oh, you yes. remember Kevin? Yeah. Yes. Ask Kevin about it. He showed the shit to me. Oh my god! This kid had like three fingers, and he gave me <laughs> a fucking puppy for Who Christmas. That was a good idea. <laughs> a few years ago, we had a winter ball, and like you have like surprise gifts at the front of the table, and like one of my friend's mom, she's like an easy like four hundred pounds, and she goes to the front and grabs her <laughs> gift. And you have to open it in front of everybody, and it was a scale. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh! She's in <laughs> oh my god! It was the worst uh, reaction. I had to like take a lap. I had I just <laughs> couldn't. I just couldn't hold it that together. What did she say? She was just stuck. Like you're in a room for like everybody in your <laughs> dress, and everybody's just sitting there at the banquet table. And you're just waiting to see what the like, gift is. Thank like the you. guy, and MC just like, but he was like bent over on the table, and all you heard was him like breathing in the mic because he just couldn't <laughs> hold it together. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. So oh. wrong. Well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just happy that this lady had a sense of humor. And this was in, um, well, she's L.A. based. so. <laughs> but do you have the option of selling it and making a little bit of cash? That's what I'm thinking. I'm oh, thinking. Yeah. That's an eBay thing. I'm thinking. True. I don't know. I'm just happy that, like, she didn't take a fan. And now, shit, she's getting all this attention from it. Yeah. Because hey. this was everywhere. Like, I saw a lot of people. Ellen. Exactly. It. You know Ellen. Mm-hmm. Ellen always makes shit right. Like exactly. you'll come on, she'll give you a way better gift. Right, I love yeah, Ellen. Man. I do too. I need to get on there. I want to be on Ellen. Me too. Yeah. I just want to be in the audience. That, goals. You listen that Ellen? too. Either either or. Goals. Bring me right. <laughs> we can even do the running. Carlina will together. make it to Ellen before we do. Okay. <laughs> well, plus three. Okay. Entourage, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Twelve days of Christmas. Boom. Oh yeah. my gifts? god. Oh, I can't. Okay, so this one oh, this we we don't we don't usually talk about celebrities unless something like really good happens to them, and this shit is really good. And you know Chris Brown, so that's what makes <laughs> it even more funny. Um, yeah, you've danced with him. And she's in the loyal video. <laughs> so I know the song. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, because she was like Carlina dancing, and so I'm like, I I never heard the song before. But now I love it. And now he used. It's my mantra. He says that Chris Brown is a prophet. He is a fucking prophet. Go ahead, Chris Brown. Uh, No, we're not going to do that. Uh, No. Chris Brown? Okay. I'm not even. I'm not even going to go. That sad puppy face, though. He's a prophet. He's telling the truth. Okay. Anyway, so this lady, 21 year old chick, um, broke into his home. 21. So, Carlene, I know you heard about this. I mean, just the picture, though. Look at her face. Just she don't like look wrapped, she's towel wrapped up. up. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> like what did I do? Like what do you like mean? I can't just come in your house and write on your like, walls. Like baby, you taking pictures of me? Food. Like what, baby? Like I, I was waiting for you. <laughs> She was in that kick in it. So those of you that don't know, Chris was in Vegas for the fight, and he had been there for a while, like all week or whatever. And so she broke in, took the door off the hinges and shit. Like this bitch did a lot. For one, she fucked his cars up. Oh, yeah. She spray painted the cars, um, like I love you or Miss Brown or some shit. Okay, go off, Miss Brown. Yes. yes. Broke Claim into it. the home. <laughs> Speak it. She um spray painted the walls oh. and cooked meals and shit. She threw out his daughter's um clothing and his dog's clothing and toys, like all the little shit. I guess she like, we don't need y'all. And so, terrible. <laughs> she cooked meals because they found like dishes in the sink and discarded food and shit. She basically moved in. How long was she there? 
I don't know, a few days. And why her hair still look like that in the picture? You know, I I don't know. She got not once. hair products. Dog. Not once did she vandalize a comb. No. Not once. Oh. <laughs> not one time. She's rocking that escape slave fade right now. Oh look at that shit. Oh my god. Dog, she was there for at least a couple of days. She and done he said with that. that it was crazy voodoo stuff. I don't know what that she means. She's doing voodoo shit in his house? Yeah, Cri- like, Cri- like Chris everywhere. tweeted the pi- For one, the fact that she posed. But wait, yes, yes. For this picture, because he tweeted this picture. This this, I mean, Instagram, this picture. I totally can this see him just on being Instagram. like, sit right there, put that towel. Over. Okay, now here now, we go. I can pu- see him yeah. doing that. And he wrote, I mean, and I am actually very surprised Chris Brown was not an asshole for once in his young He's life. Nice fans. <laughs> he, yeah, he called her a fan. Wow. Okay. Um, she is a fan, but that bitch crazy. She think y'all together, though. That's just. I just have one question. <laughs> what? Where was the alarm? That's what I said. Yeah. Like, how does she get she was in How do you camp out? How do you All squat for three days <laughs> like, in Chris Brown's house Chris and not Brown's one house. alarm goes off? You can't one. squat for three days in my mama's house and she That's got ADT. Like, so what? I don't know what Chris Brown got. I know it's not ADT, though. <laughs> I Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Like, okay. She was in um, a shellacking. Right. <laughs> Watching his Netflix, got her feet up on his couch. Kicking it. He said, he said she made meals. Yes, she cooked numerous she times. Yes. I want to know what she made. I want to know what she made. <laughs> <laughs> and when they found I'm her, she hungry. was in the bed, <laughs> lying in the bed naked. Like, hey, boo, Ooh. welcome home, babe. Oh, like, no. uh, that's why I she's wrapped in these part. towels. <sighs> yes, she was naked, lying in the bed, and that's why you see her wrapped in towels. That is how you. They said she was twenty one. Yes, <laughs> that chick don't look twenty one. No. no, she looked thirty five. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. <laughs> Easy. Oh my god, that's crazy! Yeah. And he he recently like tweeted like I hope she gets the help that she needs and blah blah. He was very like PR PC about the shit for once in his fucking life. So. Different different story if she was a bad chick though. He would have fucked her. Finally, he would have fucked, fucked, fucked her. And she was already been, naked on the bed. There a song written about it in a video shot. <laughs> Carlina's face. <laughs> He'd have fucked her. He would have. Come on. He would have. She's like, oh, I can't even say anything. But yes, he definitely would have. He'd have fucked her. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love to know what Karuchi thinks about. She's probably laughing her ass off right now. <laughs> I would be. Like, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. So that shit was hilarious. Damn. Lady is insane. Okay, your brain. favorite. Go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> I love that. I know. Really? A woman tried to smuggle an eight year old kid into Spain in a suitcase. Look at the picture. And he got caught because he went through the x ray machine and they have his picture in. Look at this. Look at that. A poor thing. How did he fit in there? Girl, he is balled up. Like, straight. He looks like a fossil. (laughs) It's so bad. He's eight. From the Ivory Coast. How is he uh, going to survive on I the know. Coast? He probably got some Cheez-Its or something in there I to hold him on. She was going to check him. Yes. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> this bag. Yes. She was going to do check him. He just like, all right, mama said, just wait here. <laughs> so, <laughs> they were, the girl is 19, oh, for geez. one. They were coming from Morocco trying to get into the Spanish governed territory of Suta. I looked up how to pronounce the word because I was saying it wrong earlier. Uh, but Suta on um, Thursday and yeah, so you know they put the suitcase through the scanner and was like, <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> A person. Ma'am, is, did you take your laptop out? <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Something rather large is in oh this suitcase. My it's my doll. It's my doll. And they open it up, and it's this little boy from the <laughs> Ivory Coast. And yeah, and they arrested wow. the boy's father, too. <laughs> Why? What do you do? Well, the father tried to cross the damn border a few hours later after that. <laughs> and they arrested him, I guess. They like, well, you clearly pro- knew about this shit. Like. Oh. Oh, you wow. just condoned this? Yeah. <laughs> but why but, did they have to smuggle him? Why couldn't he have just gone? Well, I guess maybe he didn't have the right papers. Have the right papers. I don't know. But apparently <laughs> thousands of, um, <laughs> it says thousands of migrants each What's year that? risk their lives trying to enter Suta and other um, 
Spanish territory bordering Morocco. So they said that it's a better life oh. there than where, you know, they're, they're from. Living so, that suitcase life. So <laughs> stupid. Wow. And it said earlier this week, a 23-year-old Moroccan was found in a shipping container. <laughs> in, <laughs> in port. This fool is over here dying. What? Yes. He was dehydrated after oh. four days, cooped up without food or water, since the container was left unattended. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they probably oh, thought man. it was filled with Kleenex, not a human. Uh, like, oh, man. Human beings. They take. They are like not fucking playing. They're they, like, we they gonna get out. over there. We yeah. They want nope. We want out. Don't ever go to sit down. Oh my god. Yeah. Nope. Like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've seen in a while. That is crazy. <sighs> just the photo, though. The picture, like, though. Yes. Even read it. Yes. Just look at the it's photo. The photo. Poor like, kid. Was he in like person? okay condition? When no, it up? no. It said he was in a terrible state. Is what they said. They didn't say like how. What? You just got X-rayed. Your whole body <laughs> is in a terrible state. That's like free, free chemo. Like, did she like, tell what? Him, like, when she what? put him in a suitcase, did she tell him don't move? Like, well, like, how can still? he move in a suitcase? But I'm saying because he, you know. I don't she know. Tell him, stay was still while I go through? Did that one more time? I don't know. Like, yes. <laughs> so like, yes, tight in wiggle. there. Yes, put a wiggle. That's a new move. Yes. Carlina's going to put that in a routine and shit. <laughs> I'm going to put that in my next routine. What kind of, I wonder what kind of food and shit he had in there. Like, None. How long, how long was he in there? No, well, not that long, I guess. Clearly, he didn't make it through x-ray. Right, at least put some animal crackers in there, <laughs> right? Something, <laughs> right? I can't. I don't see any of that on the x-ray. Some, some gummy bears. <laughs> I see him. I don't I, see I no see food. see a water bottle in there? I don't even see a Game Boy. I don't see nothing. <laughs> I see no entertainment, no I nothing. I cannot. And this is like this is like first day of freshman year type size book bag. Bags. So he was really cooped up. Yeah, that's a that. little ass suitcase. <laughs> At least get a big fucking suitcase. Why would you get that little ass suitcase? But I guess because they, they needed to carry it on. They couldn't put him through the baggage thing. Like, so, oh, they needed, the plane, yeah. so they needed the little one. They couldn't get the big one to check the bag. He is over there. Oh, wait. He was gonna be carry on. Yeah. He yeah. Was carry on. <laughs> so so what still, was she gonna do? Roll him onto the plane and then just excuse me, sir. Open, open it up. <laughs> pull him out. And, Can I take your seat? Like what? what? Oh, they were gonna put him in the overhead bin. Oh. oh my and, and sneak him peanuts. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> be a stupid. Because what else were they gonna do? <laughs> so I'm funny. assuming that is what they were gonna do. It's the funniest oh. shit I've ever seen, man. Speaking of bad parenting. <laughs> This couple thought it was a good idea to use um, pot and cocaine to bribe their daughters um, to, like, do chores and do their homework and shit. Good deal. 13 and 14-year-old daughters. Good deal. Great parents. So, yeah, they're like, hey, so we'll give you weed and cocaine if you do your homework and clean this house. What the fuck? Where they do that at? Like. I don't even have words. I cannot. Uh, yeah. There is a, a word. And this, it says in here. Clearwater. Isn't that Florida? Is I used it? to live like 30 minutes away from Clearwater. I'm like, isn't Clearwater? <laughs> of course this is Florida. Like, why wouldn't it be? Oh, can I can I, can I I say something since we're on Florida? Because I just heard it today and I have to say something. What? And somebody shot at George Zimmerman. Yeah, shot him in the face. <gasps> and you fucking missed. You dumbass motherfucker. You should have hit the motherfucker. Okay, you can go back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to this. Tell us how you feel. We can't let his anger out because it, it'll just be bad. I'm just saying. He's he's a, okay, he's we're not talking. All right, okay. Be wild, ain't loyal. <laughs> Fuck Zimmerman. <laughs> I'd shoot him. Okay. Anyway, back to the parents. Um, so clearly the the parents got arrested. I mean, someone. I mean, I hope. God. It said that they got um, the cops got a call, like an anonymous call on the child abuse hotline. Mm. So <laughs> yeah, somebody's hurting to me. Somebody tricking. Who, right? Who called? Mm, didn't say. <laughs> what, anonymous the fool. The kids wasn't calling. I don't know. The, no, the kids <clears throat> like it. Huh? Apparently, so like uh, they, you know, smoking weed and the cocaine. It's like damn, cocaine. You was gonna kill your kid. Cocaine. <laughs> That's crazy. Shit. Jeez. Weed is bad enough to give a thirteen and fourteen year old. Yeah, so there's that horrible. Story. So if they're giving away cocaine and weed, what are they doing? Because they got to be on something. And look, did you see the pictures? Know. Look yeah, at them. They looking rough as fuck. Meth and all type of shit. Mm. All right, last story before we move on. You want to do this one, or you want one of the bonus ones? We have three to pick from. We'll let Carlina. Yeah, let's pick. let Carlina pick. So we have. 
<sighs> Teacher gets fired from after a group of students found her porn. She worked at my school, Haters. probably. Online. Haters. A Florida woman Haters. faked a bomb threat in hopes of getting a ride. Oh, jeez. Or a barbecue joint offers white people a discount to fight racism. Uh, huh? It's Carlina's choice. She's the guest. What do you want to talk about? That's, huh? I mean, I kind of want to find out about this porn. <laughs> porn. Situation. There we go. <laughs> That's why she's my favorite. Go ahead, B. <laughs> Let's talk about it. A Czech teacher. So she's in the Czech Republic. Mm-hmm. Moonlighted as a porn star and basically got fired from her teaching job because her students found out. And then. How did they find it? That's what I couldn't get from the story. Exactly. But I mean. So you're just searching, like no, you don't even have to. But search. who told? I want to know who told, because they don't say who told and how she got called. The students wouldn't tell. I know goddamn of well I had a, the students. If I had a teacher that looked about. like this, and I could see her naked whenever I want, I ain't telling nobody shit. Well, clearly somebody had to tell their parents. They're like watching it in class, Mrs. Such and Such, <laughs> or that. You know, or kids that. are stupid, so yeah, they would pull it up right exactly. on their phone in class. Exactly. Sure would. No, I'm sure it was one kid. Like, hey, mom. My teacher. It's always, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always, always going to be always a hater. Hater. There's always a hater. It's always, just a weenie. Just a, don't be a weenie. <laughs> <laughs> just that word. I'm just saying. It's always weenie. that one person in class. I'm going to strangle like, oh, don't be the weenie. <laughs> I know I'm the only weenie. straight dude in here, but she's a good looking <laughs> chick. Why yeah. the fuck? I mean, if I tell? was a straight guy and that was my teacher, what I, think you saying? I would kind of play it a little different. I'd be like, hey. I'm finna get this A, or you finna lose this job. Exactly. exactly. But she would keep the job. You would get the A, and, and you get to see. Well, how young were the kids? Oh, yes. Because that, that matters. Picture. <laughs> <laughs> God, damn. No, she 15. looks good. They said her kids were around 15. Oh yeah, they. The, Come on. Yeah, what 15 year old? You know, maybe a girl told. Jeez. Because girls can be haters. So weenies. maybe a girl was like, oh, our teacher, you know, a boy. Girls can definitely be weenies. A little boy isn't going to tell, but a girl mm. may tell. So yeah. that makes more sense. That Why? Or maybe she forgot to take off one of her costumes and showed up Monday morning <laughs> and was like, all right, today's <laughs> test is about. She walked in with this on? Huh? <laughs> exactly. She well, she mm. did say, remember she tried to lie. Well, I don't know if she's lying, but she said, oh, but when I got there, they gave me cocaine, and I just felt a little funny. I didn't know what it was. I thought that it was for a commercial or a modeling gig. Okay, so like, she's digging herself a deeper hole. They yeah. gave you cocaine, and you did the Where shit? Where did this just turn? No, yeah. this is what she said. Yeah, so she's like, once that- she got caught, <laughs> now she's trying to use the excuse like, oh, but I didn't know what it was. I just saw the ad, and I just thought, you know, this is a modeling gig or a, um, a commercial and when I got there, the filmmakers drugged me with cocaine. Oh, and, oh, she thought she was auditioning to become an underwear model, which is how she sounds ended like up in her underwear. That sounds like a cast. And um, she <sighs> said that she's not, she was sure that something was there because her behavior was changing and she felt more relaxed and comfortable. So put a dick in your mouth? Okay, girl. <laughs> like, how, how comfortable? <laughs> I don't really. I'm feeling like, Aww. oh, I'm just <laughs> real comfortable for this underwear commercial. Like, girl, oh, really? God. Come on. And then she's like, I would never do anything like this under normal circumstances. Hmm. So who put the cocaine in your nose? Girl. Thank really? You. Like, Maybe it was in the air conditioning duct. Drink. I don't, it on a I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, let's but play I'm devil's just, advocate. At, one po- at what point? Now, I've never done cocaine. <laughs> but mm-hmm. at what point? Join the club. Does if a penis is right here, <laughs> do you be like, maybe this isn't? An I underwear. heard with cocaine, you don't even see the penis. And that's that's <laughs> oh, what happened. Shit. So the dick just disappears. It disappears. It just, and then your mouth opens. And you don't so know you fucking know. Dick in your mouth. And in your like, you, you think don't you're feel yawning it? and I hate things you happen. Think you're yawning. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Things happen. Well, I'm never doing cocaine. Let's just get that shit straight. I'm on her side. I don't want to do it either. If dicks just magically appear in your yeah. mouth when you do cocaine, <laughs> there's no reason not to ever want to do cocaine. Stick to the regular shit, man. Weed is about the toughest shit I'm I've doing. I've never gotten yeah. fucked up off of whiskey and had a dick in my mouth in the morning. <laughs> I'll just stick with the whiskey. Maybe the tequila. From Mexico. From Mexico. Carlina got you. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> cocaine making people just, just <laughs> <suck> random <laughs> genitalia in your mouth. Camera. That ain't even a right. No. No. <laughs> Let me know the drug that 
I wake up with a pussy in my mouth. That, that would be okay, better. Okay, this nah. took a turn. I'm just saying. <laughs> I am you the only straight really, dude here. But you don't really need a drug for that, though. I'm just no, saying. You know. If there's a drug that's going to magically make shit appear in your mouth, it has to be <laughs> sexual. <laughs> Why just can't it be food? Why do they have right. to be food? I'm saying some pizza. Shit, her argument Can I get some is pizza or some shit? her <laughs> argument is she magically woke up with a dick in her mouth, right? This is what we're saying. So that's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. Yes. We're After she got, we're called. saying that we believe her. I'm calling bullshit here. <laughs> Clearly, no, girl. She, you knew what the fuck you were doing. She does look gone in this picture, though. Look, she does look like she's a little off at the that moment. That teaching degree don't ain't gonna pay itself. And I don't know what subject saying. she teaches. Right? <laughs> what do you teach, girl? <laughs> what does she teach? <laughs> what do you chemistry? Teach? I cannot. <laughs> we're enough dick talk. Um, yeah. Please. <laughs> For our fun segment, you know, y'all always like to have some fun. Um, we want, well, that movie Avengers, is that the name of it? The Avengers? Avengers. Of course it is. It's not. Subtitle Age of Ultron. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. Well, he got real serious with me I right now. I appreciate that. You, you know, know I, mean? I don't watch that shit. Did I you go and see any it? Of them. Not yet. I will. <gasps> any did of you, them? Did you? I, I, I don't yeah, even I know what it, it is. So is it a bunch of superheroes or like what is it? I it don't know what it is. It's the Avengers. I don't know what the fucking Avenger is. is. <laughs> Tell me what Mom, it is. Would you please explain to her the, the Avengers? Avengers is a coalition of superheroes from different comic books, all banded together to make one super team of superheroes. Okay. Basically, yes. the super friends, but better. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. And a little bit more chemically unbalanced. Yeah. So yeah. So B loves shit like that. I don't. Mm-hmm. It sounds kind of cool though. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it's it's. I probably wouldn't pay for it to watch it, but I. I'll eventually see it, maybe. Anyway. You have to watch the whole thing. Like, there's like 10 movies you got to watch. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do all that. Um, So I just will never watch it. But anyway, in light of that, I want to know if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Starting with Carlene. (laughs) I feel like everybody's going to say this and everyone would say this. But honestly, I would love to be able to fly. Dope. Because, I'm not going to say that. Okay. Because I, I love traveling. And if you could just fly there, if I could just, like, if I could just be in India tomorrow or like check out New York next week yeah. and just do it in like it, just an instant. Yeah. It would. And even just like on my day to day, like getting <laughs> out of LA travel. Oh my God. That's true. I mean, if That's I could just true. fly from auditions to auditions, it would be game over <laughs> plus i'd have these like crazy wings i'm sure they'd be made of gold of course something. gold uh, yeah uh, <laughs> why would they not be yeah definitely wings and flying yeah that's dope well i want to be invisible ah so that i can rob banks and shit oh, okay sneak up on people and smack the fuck out of them <laughs> you don't know what happened stuff like that fuck with you yeah you hide just, in suitcases yeah and you hide, struggle to cross that, borders yeah Stuff. so invisible does that protect you from being x-rayed as well i'm invisible how are you gonna see me i appreciate but that the x-ray can still pick you up <laughs> I appreciate how that. because it can't i'm invisible it's my fucking superpower don't tell me well, what you, my you have power to put in addition is. that my invisibility <laughs> keeps x-rays from working as well i can't what's hey, yours go ahead yeah. you first i want to be telepathic and to have telekinesis I, mean, I can read people's minds and I can control people and I can fly and, can and I can levitate teleport. things and okay. I can do everything. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can see cool. him doing that. He would be a little asshole though. <laughs> <laughs> he would be. He don't need to help. Like, he <laughs> wouldn't be just fucking with people just like me being invisible. <laughs> yeah. B? I want the superpower that takes other people's superpower so I can have all that shit. Everything. That sounds like you. you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to kill them in the process? <laughs> no, or you just, oh, just want to take, take it? You just want to take it? So just take it. Yeah, okay. but like, so they just, become a regular person. And, and no, no, no. They don't a become a regular person. You just be around. Like, so if Carlina could fly, right? Mm-hmm. You'll just be able to fly, too. And I'm standing next to her now. Then you can fly. Oh. Oh, so you have to be okay. in the same vicinity? No, no, no. Once she leaves, I can still fucking fly. It's just I got to be around. <laughs> He's like, minutes. hold on now. Like, no, I'm taking that with me. My shit don't go away. I'll be around you, and I could turn invisible and slap the shit out of motherfuckers I don't like, too. And then I don't like your shit, then. I like is and it doesn't harm anybody. No, 
unless you but can you imagine me and b both being invisible and playing <laughs> tricks only that is not fun <laughs> no i'm with him too much how y'all play tricks on each other y'all both invisible there can we no, see each other no y'all invisible invi- that's what there I'm is saying. no invisible realm that so he can't find me nope y'all just both walking around in the room but what if i choose not to be invisible at that moment and then he chooses to be invisible and now he fucking with me i don't want to know <laughs> that means you need to be invisible and leave <laughs> <laughs> and then be visible elsewhere just disappear oh my god so it's a two part segment so we know our superhero powers what was your favorite cartoon comic book or superhero growing up the simpsons oh. <laughs> <laughs> um i definitely didn't watch too many i'm older than you so my shit go way so. back but go ahead <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch too many like superhero shows and like comic books other than like Archie comics. Yeah. Were really like my thing. Yeah. But I love The Simpsons. I honestly feel like I learned more <laughs> oh, from The Simpsons yeah. than I did in like elementary school. <laughs> I'm telling you. Simpsons is smart humor, though. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah it is. is. Simpsons brilliant. is great. Like, it really is. Like, I look down on people to say, oh, I don't like that. Like, yeah. Just because you're a fucking idiot. You Simpsons know what they're great. talking about. That's a good choice. I, I love The Simpsons. Like, yes. Simpsons are all had cool hair. So, so did you like all mine. have like different cartoons in Canada than like we did? <laughs> like, I want to know. Is it like different shit? Uh, I think we did have some. Yeah, I would imagine that you different. all would have like different things than we would have. Yeah, we had this one. <laughs> I mean, whoever wrote this show must have been on acid, but <laughs> it was <laughs> called Pengu, and it was like a French Canadian show, and oh. it was uh, claymation penguins. Yes, yeah, and weird they shit. would like walk in their like claymation snow world, and they didn't like they talked to each other in this like weird, like half French Canadian, half non-english i don't know what it was <laughs> it was like fuck. and <laughs> they would like be mad at each other and meet at each other i don't know it was it was wild but then we had like goosebumps we had yeah, uh, we had, are you afraid of the dark, dark. see yeah. all that stuff filmed in canada though. yeah yeah uh yeah. tales from the crypt keeper yeah that was yeah. in canada yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. okay that's my shit too, all right that shit. Yeah. yeah popular see. mechanics for kids well, I'm Chicken old, was in Canada. and my oh, yeah, shit Degrassi. goes back. So, like, Wonder Woman, She-Ra. She-Ra, that's the she- shit. Like, that's my superhero. Like, those bitches were bad. Like, <laughs> any bad bitch growing <laughs> up is who I always wanted to be. What about Jim? So, Jim is outrageous. Jim, truly oh, motherfucking Jim. outrageous with the pink hair? Yeah. Don't get me started. <laughs> that yeah, is I haven't some, even seen any girl, of that. all. Oh, I gotta like send you a link. It's yes. like the shit. She had pink hair and a lot of bad bitches behind her and a whole crew. Like she's all yes. <laughs> Sounds like Sailor she Moon. She was like a rocker, oh, I love Sailor and then Moon. she did like superpower shit. Like it was great. That's me. Be somebody. <laughs> One of y'all. When I was little. Yeah. Just still Sailor little. Moon, oh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, you grew up in Japan? <laughs> Pretty much. <in> my <laughs> right. I can totally uh, see all of this for Pokemon. Him. Yeah, I knew he was going to go I there. I was really, really big on like Spider-Man and X-Men though. Like super, super. Yeah. Like my mom used to sit and watch X-Men and stuff with us in the morning. I could totally see all of that for you. What? I, 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 I kind of knew what you wall. would pick like, too. It was a real life experience in my house. Like get your cape. No, I was I was very like, animated like, too, like that. Jumping off couches. Yeah, I like used to create capes walls. and swords and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I learned how to tumble in the house, flipping off stuff, breaking stuff. <laughs> Did you know that the entire X Men cartoon is on Netflix? The entire thing. Yeah, I just found it. I have it all on my computer. Like on my computer. It's just a revelation. So what's yours? B? Uh, well, when I was young, 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 it was Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Cause I mean. All the dorks can relate to him. Yeah, he ain't never get no pussy, ain't get no play. None of the girls liked him. But then he got these powers, and then he just like, no, he shit just like right. So all the dorks liked him. But then when I got older, it was probably the X Men, Wolverine specifically. Wolverine is because he's shit. a fucking badass. Yeah, he can't die. I mean, that yeah. kind of shit. I'm trying to paint those nails. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Can you imagine they were, came out and they were pink? Yes. <laughs> Just all Swarovski crystals. <laughs> <laughs> we like decorations and shit all on them. Oh my God. Oh, too be, funny. All of you all made a lot of sense to me. I thought it was going to be some off the wall shit. So that was pretty cool. Yours kind of. I'm all X Files. <laughs> <laughs> the Simpsons, well, that was good. I didn't yeah. expect that one. I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons. 
What? Yeah. My stepfather yep. tried to pull that. My shit stepfather on me. was the one that did it. Oh, I damn. was like, but when the Simpsons first came out, like, how old were we? We were like, I don't we remember. Age. I remember like, what they used to look like though, like the first. Yeah, Simpsons compared yeah. to yeah, yeah. yeah. now, yeah. Oh. Like tweak, they they look all look like tweakers. They, yeah, <laughs> the eyes look like <laughs> Tracy Ullman show. They came off. Of that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> we are getting towards the end. Um, tell us what you got coming up. I'm actually going to be in Toronto at the end of the month. Nice. Um, coming down to judge the on the floor dance competition. Oh, yeah. You've done it a, a few times before, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I go down as a special judge and do some talks and inspiration and stuff with the kids, which is real cool. It's a really inspiring weekend. Um, long, long days, but yeah. definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to be teaching a special master class out there. Nice. Um, and I might also be teaching at Right Foot Studio. Just trying to put that in the works right now. But that would be another special class. So make sure you all sign up for that. Yeah, <laughs> sign up, sign up, sign up. Um, I oh love to God. give back to, to the city. So every time I come down, I try to teach as much as mm-hmm. possible and, and and do the damn thing. So Nice. Yeah, I got that coming up. A couple... Uh, couple commercials on the way and then also uh lip sync battle has been airing on spike tv yes uh every thursday night with ll cool yeah J, he's the host explain yeah. explain you haven't seen it yet i don't have cable but oh <laughs> okay so lip sync battle is basically um two celebrities could be actors musicians whomever and they get made or like huge celebrities yeah are. like big big names um and basically it's like a a spinoff of the jimmy fallon segment that he did on his show but it's a full-length show of just uh the two actors or celebrities whomever um basically lip sync battling against each other and they turn it into this like huge production and they've got dancers and costumes and props <laughs> like and real shit it's, it's hilarious so it's, funny. it's like it's, it's like karaoke it's so, on crack it's yeah. so yeah. funny it's, yeah. i've it's seen so yeah good. it's hilarious i'll have to pull an episode up for you yeah. hilarious so i got a couple yeah, like episodes it. coming up uh Marlon Wayans, Queen Aww. Latifah. So stay tuned. It's it's pretty rad. And it was cool because it was like not just dancing. It was like it was comedy improv, to be honest with you. And it was on the spot and in the moment. And it's in front of a live audience. And it's it's just so fun. So, yeah, every Thursday um, on Spike TV, I don't know which episode airs each week, right. but I do know I have quite a few coming up. And we just got signed for season two. Oh, nice. So, nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a cool show. So that's check dope. it out. That is dope. And be on the lookout for her Old Navy commercial that yeah. is playing now. <laughs> just catch it. Like It's on it. YouTube, too, though. Like We posted yeah, clips and YouTube, we posted some cable. stuff. It's on YouTube. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're just watching TV and you look, you see an Old Navy commercial, like, is that cr- It's her. <laughs> <laughs> it's her. Because I'm always looking at commercials and you're like, is th- I know that person. Yeah. That's Carlina. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, what else? What else? You always got a lot of shit going on. I know you've been doing more acting, so. Yeah, I got another uh, comedy improv show at the end of the month, May 30th. That's a Saturday night at 8 p.m. I'll be doing uh, some fun stuff. So come out. It's free. It's at uh, Playhouse West, if you're in Los Angeles. Uh, Playhouse West Studio One. And it's tons and tons of fun. So, so good. Because we went. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Ryan, you have to go with us this time. Shout out to that French kid. He was fucking (laughs) hilarious, man. No, it was, like, great. Carlene, it was great. I can't wait until, like, you do more acting and people can just see that side of you. you. She's really good. Yeah. Yeah. She's really good. Yeah. I like all the commercials and stuff. Can't wait. This is the holiday one when you were, like, in the top corner. (laughs) Oh, yeah. PNC Bank. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that was a, that was a rad one. I got another one coming out for um, Living Spaces, actually. Oh, uh, okay. I play a rock star, so I got to oh, get shit. a rock star on, and it was super rad. Oh, my God. Yeah, lots of, like, spinning on a metal chair and head banging, and definitely couldn't move my neck for a week afterwards. <laughs> um, but it'll be a, a pretty rad, rad commercial. So. Okay, so we have a lot of things to look out for and tell everyone where they can contact you or keep up with you and just know what you're doing and everything 
Yeah, Twitter and Instagram is at Carlina Britch. And That's, it should be on your screen, too. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> It's at C-A-R-L-E-N-A-B-R-I-T-C-H. Put that R in there. Yeah, don't forget that R. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, playing it back in my head like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> B-R-I-T-C-H, people. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Facebook is uh, official Carlina Britch. And yeah, uh, make sure it's that verified. No, why uh, is it official? Is there, of, is there a lot of oh, fake yeah. running around? I mean, there's a lot of um, Facebook pages that people just make that says Carlina Bridge, but she has the verified check now uh, on it, so you know it's her. Um, so if it's if you don't see that, then it's check not. Check right now, make sure I got the right one. It's not her, nah. but yeah, make sure Been you catfished. all are um. <laughs> Are always following us as well on Twitter at Social Misconduct and Facebook Social Misconduct Radio and Instagram at Social Misconduct. And if you have friends or anyone that missed this live episode, it would be on YouTube tomorrow. Make sure that you all subscribe to our YouTube page so that you never miss an episode if you can't catch us live. We're also still on SoundCloud and iTunes and all that other stuff too. So if you just want to listen, you can do that as well. Anything else, Miss Carlina Birch, that we are forgetting before we get out of here? No, I think I covered it all. I think I covered it all. B, for now. any announcements or anything that we missed before we go? Are we doing something? We have something coming up this weekend, but we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> okay. I need the reminders. Oh, yeah, we have up. something coming with up this my week. This <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask my publicist, what are we, this what are we doing? This Saturday, we have some an event coming up, but we'll tell you all, all about it after we attend and okay. tell you our experience and everything. And Ron, do you have anything, sir? I'm going whale watching Saturday. Oh, fine. <laughs> we talked about it, like, what, last week or the week before or something, and he's finally going. So. so I'm gonna have another euphoric experience with the whales. Don't jump over. in and be I'm acting gonna, all crazy. And I'm gonna shit. cry all over again. I need to Did know. you see one last time? He so we to went to Sea World, World and I saw an Orca whale for the first time, and I've like been and in love cry, with them. Girl. Yeah, I was like, on I was in a glass like crazy. Oh, but <laughs> what that face? Glass. Yeah, I was She's in glass. like, no, but he'll like, go whale watching. So they're like in there. Yeah. I was know. like, oh my god, I want to see it, but oh my god, I want to let it free. Oh my god, it was just. You have to tell us. Yeah, it's my first time ever going. You'll love it. Yeah, tell us. How, well, you'll share that story then Ooh. with us. And make sure you all follow Ron on Instagram and Twitter at Spideron. Spell that for them, please. S-P-I-D-E-R-H-O-N. Yes. And all he's right. the one that put together all of our cute promo pictures and everything. The lovely one that you saw of Carlina and Ray Grady last week. We had Ray Grady on last week. If you missed that, make sure you go back to YouTube and watch that shit. Because it's it was real. fucking hilarious. It's <laughs> crazy. Bugs are real. Anyway, um, we got to get out of here. So if there's nothing else next week, same time, same place. Peace out. <laughs> You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B-Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio.